Hey there, nerds. Cubby here with some awesome Star Wars news that, of course, after we filmed last night, like we normally do, uh, they release a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, this was one of the cool things I actually wanted to bring up and talk about myself because it's an issue I've really had with um, the uncertainty of what's going to happen within the universe, within Star Wars lore. There's so much to it so many cool things and the fact that they're moving forward into the into the future where people have already been exploring it like in books comic books yada 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 um it almost felt like they weren't gonna even touch it and it seemed like it i think they even talked about that they weren't really gonna focus on it too much um <clears throat> we got some news though that two awesome chaps named uh pablo hidalgo and leland chi who actually leland chi is in charge of uh, the Holocron, which is a, a Lucasfilm-run database of Star Wars knowledge. So, he's probably, like, the perfect guy to streamline the the full, like, story. All the canon, everything that's Star Wars myth would be streamlined into one big cohesive story. Uh, originally, it's always been whatever Lucas does, that's number one. Top dog. He's it. Then everyone else kind of comes in between books, comics, whatever. Everything else falls to the wayside after that. Um, now it seems they're just going to kind of mesh it all together. Those in those designations of whatever it came out in, that's not for the public anymore. That's not for us to categorize it. It's whatever they categorize it. But everything else, essentially at one point, or not essentially, but at one point is going to be everything. It, it's all going to make sense in one way or another. It's, it's refreshing because... Uh, for the longest time, it's always seemed like anything outside of the movies is essentially fan fiction, which is cool, for, yeah, but, like, I want it to be there, and, like, yeah, the books and stuff are, like, you know, pretty much licensed and signed off by Lucas, whatever, for the most part, but I want it to be recognized <laughs> that this event actually is the reason why this person in the movies was uh, able to do this, and it's that something that someone else filled in and kind of, like, explained within the story. It's a giant big saga that's been touched by many, many people and enjoyed by even more. Like, that's cool to me. That's cool that so many people love something and the fact that they're going to actually acknowledge it, go forward with it, and maybe even include it into the movies, which I assume that they are going to. TV shows, other spin-off movies they're going to do, this is all taking that and just kind of adding to it so excited for it and I want to know what you guys know what you guys want to see and are most excited for in this uh unfortunately I don't think any of the awesome comic books that are going on right now Dark Horse are going to be transferred over to Marvel or even included in any of this I really hope so because there's been a lot of cool stuff um but time will tell 2015 once Marvel starts unveiling all this stuff and the new movie comes out we'll probably see it actually go into effect so let me know what you guys think I'm stoked. So stoked.